In this tutorial, I'm going to talk you through setting up a typical broadsheet page in InDesign. So first of all, I go to File, New, Document. That then brings up the New Document window. So make sure the intent is to print. In this instance, the number of pages I'm going to create is only one. It's important to make sure you're using facing pages if you're using more than one page. Facing pages effectively ensures your pages are side by side and not individual pages. So make sure you've ticked facing pages for any magazine or print project. Start page number one. If you do multiple pages again, you're generally going to start with the first page. And now the page size, because this is a broadsheet newspaper, it's not going to be A4. The width is going to be 380 mil, which is the typical size of a broadsheet newspaper although some publications do vary slightly, and the height is going to be 575 mil. Again, if you are copying another broadsheet newspaper, then please measure the sizes accurately, because usually they are 575 mil high, but some publications do vary. As far as columns go, I'll set the number of columns to eight, because again, this is the typical number of columns used in the majority of broadsheet newspapers, but occasionally this does vary slightly. And the gutter, which is the distance between your columns, should be set to 4 mil. The margins should be set to 14 mil. As all the settings here are linked, when you put 14 mil into one box, that will copy across to all the other measurements. So 14 mil margin, which is effectively the area around the side of the pages, the top, the bottom, the inside and the outside. I'm not going to put a bleed in today or a slug in today, then I click OK when I'm ready to start my newspaper. 